One of the things I like to do with my videos is to include one of these lower thirds things here. And what would be handy is if I could have some way of editing this. Okay, so this is the one that I tend to use quite a lot. Click on the YouTube like button. It would be very handy if I could have it set up automatically so that it said this text for me without me having to go in there and uh, change the, the default text to what I actually want it to be. So what I found out recently is that what I can do is I can go to the uh, area down here and I can go look at my lower thirds and this is the one that I use and what I can do is I can open a copy of Motion. How good is that then? So so there you go we've got Motion open now and we've got this here name description bit of text there. What I probably can do is, is I can take this bit here and I can double click on that and I can say um, please click okay so uh, that's set and done now and I should be able to save that and take it back into Final Cut Pro and then I'll be able to use it directly one other thing that I'd probably like to be able to do with this as well is I'd like to take all of this stuff here and move it down a little bit because it usually comes in too high and I prefer it so that it comes in right at the bottom okay now I've grabbed all of it let's take this here I think that allows me to move it down okay so now I've got it down to right where I need it at the bottom there and now what I can do is I can uh, click on file and save now I should be able to go to Final Cut Pro now and be able to use that and it'll be just as I need it without me having to make changes to it before I can actually start using it in my videos Go to my lower thirds and this here centered copy. There you go. So, what I can do now is just double click on that. I probably could uh, do a file save as and give it a, a better name, but uh, that's very handy. That is, I've uh, got it just where I want it, it hasn't come in too low and it works. That's where the levels were too high and not we've bad. Got some clipping. But if I want it to be longer, what I can do is I can just take this, drag it, and make it a bit longer. So uh, once the uh, rendering has taken place, you can see that uh, it's rendering. We've got this uh, brown sort of mark across there. It'll still play at the moment, but it's uh, probably better if I let it do its rendering first. You can have some round tripping happening in between Final Cut Pro and Motion. And uh, Motion, it's a pretty good app. You can do an awful lot with it. Well, I haven't learned to do many things with it yet, but uh, I intend to get in there and play with it some more. Okay, that's uh, a little short video for how to do some things with Final Cut Pro Motion and I'll uh, make some more videos for Mac20Q and Wizard Gold channel on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mac20Q videos so that you know when the next ones are due to come out. Bye bye now.